Hello, you are watching Sal TV. This is Salamancer, and we are going to be watching a 6v6 between Fragnetic Gaming slash Water Vapor. That is, uh, that is their team name. It's, it's both of them at the same time. And Nerd Stars. Nerd Stars, of course, are uh, another ESEA open team. So these are both ESEA open teams. Thing is, the season is over right now for, uh, for most of them. Some of these teams are, of course, going to the playoffs in ESEA open. I'm not sure if Nerd Stars are or not, but it looks like Fragnetic has lost uh, quite a few players this mid-fight, so they are having to back out here and looks like they're doing the Euro style thing tonight of pocketing their demo man just a little bit. Uh, demo is uh, Tito looking for a team of some type it seems and uh, I think Fragnetic is, is having some significant roster changes after this season so uh, but yeah we're just watching I think a scrim right now between Fragnetic and <coughs> oh excuse me Fragnetic and Nerd Stars and of course you guys know I would not bring you a boring game scrims while they do not matter as much as some of these other games I've been casting recently are of course just as interesting to watch and sometimes you see some really awesome like entertaining stuff going on we do have uber popped very early for Miss Awesome that's going to mean that Nerd Scouts have 100% ready to go just to uh just to defend themselves here. It is a defensive uber popped. Blueberry Villain and Garfield have both gone down to uh, Jesus and Poop Soup. So, great names so far. I'm, I'm appreciating all of them. Of course, I've been casting a lot of European games, and, and uh, some of the names there are probably like just as retarded in, uh, in their languages, but I would not know. Nonetheless, uh, I do love the names. <laughs> if I were killed by a guy named Poop Soup, I, I would never get angry. I would just laugh every time. Um, but yeah, this is going to be, I think, a pretty intense scrim here on Badlands between Fragnetic and uh, and Nerd Stars. I keep forgetting. Um, and so I, I am streaming this at the same time. So if somebody in my stream chat wants to tell me whether Nerd Stars are actually in the playoffs, I'd appreciate it. Uh, <clears throat> but yeah, we are seeing not the normal Fragnetic roster, so we're going to see some changes come in from them for sure. And I think new Nerd Stars may be using some ringers as well. <laughs> my stream is actually saying that they've had some poop soup once, and. Uh, Apparently it was pretty shitty, so thank you for for that uh, particular joke there, Duder. Uh, also, thank you for flipping tables. Flipping tables in my stream chat seems to happen quite a bit. Um, uh, not as much as it probably happens in Destiny's stream, but, you know, Destiny is the master. So, looks like uh, very quickly Nerdstar is just going to push in here. They're going to try and make the medic pop, but so far it's not meant to be. Tree dies right away, and looks like Buddha is looking or something Buddha has also died, so Demo Man and uh, Soldier down so far. This is back to good old North American style play, so uh, we are going to see, instead of uh, Pocket Demos, we are going to see Pocket Soldiers. Looks like Fragnetic loses the first round, so um, at least there have been no drops yet. Miss Awesome, of course, loves it when I, uh, when I point out whenever she drops Ubers. It's her favorite thing, because uh, I don't even know why. She, I guess she just gets off on it. No idea, but anyway, um, oh, that was so awkward. <laughs> Here we go. The Nerd Stars have won. It is one to zero against Fragnetic, and Fragnetic pushing out to the mid fight here uh, through the valley, which is more dangerous. You can get hit a lot easier, but they do manage to get there. We saw some actually dropping back through the house now, and uh, we do have Nerd Stars in their choke point, which they could take a lot of damage from these uh, pipe bombs. They're doing a very good job of avoiding them. And wow, so far three up for each team. Both medics have stayed alive. Finally, though, it looks like. Uh, uh, the medic for Fragnetic has gone down, but so is the medic for Nerd Star. So both teams have lost their medics. That's going to be Tool and Miss Awesome down. I should probably go over the rosters at some point here. Um, and that's going to be for Fragnetic Gaming. It's Miss Awesome on the medic. Both their scouts are Mike, who is a regular for Fragnetic, and Garfield, who I have not seen on their team before. Um, Tito is their demo man, and then their two soldiers are Gundy and Blueberry. And meanwhile, over on the Nerd Stars, that's going to be Nerd Star Tool himself on the medic. Jesus uh, and Tree are their soldiers. I'm not sure if those are the regular soldiers. Poop Soup and Bio on the uh, scout. I know I've seen Bio before from uh, Gangsta Gang Gaming in the Highlander, um, Highlander scene from UGC. And then Buddha is their demo man. So... Uh, a good lo good roster on both teams. I've seen a lot of these players before, and they are, of course, stellar players. Um, the We're going to have to see whether they can keep their team coordination up. It looks like they're doing a very good job of it so far, even though a lot of these players may not have played a lot with each other. Um, they are really coordinating their pushes quite well. I'm not sure if Fragnetic's watching their flanks too much, but they did win that mid-fight. They are, uh, at the very least... Oh, well, look at that... Look at those stickies! Tito, uh, I think it's Tito, right? 
Yeah, just uh, dumping stickies over the top there. Now, we do have the Ubers popped here for both blue and red at the same time. Blue's flashing it around quite a bit, but so I think is red. Um, lots and lots of damage coming down, and Fragnetic in the blue is probably going to, I was going to say, has to back off, but so far that's not what they're doing. Um, very, very aggressive soldier play here. Does get punished. Blueberry goes down. Miss Awesome now in trouble. Having to drop back through the house. That's never a good place to be as a medic. And can she actually get a medic kill here, though? She is not dead yet. Finally goes down, but... Uh, Tool is at 19 health. Can they manage to pick him off? Looks like that's what Gundy wants to do here. Push in, take Tool out, but Tool has actually gotten a health kit, so he's back up above 100 health. Gundy, the only one left alive right now for Fragnetic. So, middle is going to go to the Nerd Stars. But, a good forward spawn here for uh, Gundy and, I think... No, I'm sorry, for Blueberry Villain. Blueberry Villain, right? That's his name? Blueberry Villain and Tito means that they managed to get uh, some decent forward position here and it's going to slow down, stymie that push from Nerdstar just a little bit. Nerdstars do have an uber advantage though and Tito has gone down so they also have a player advantage. They really want to push right now. Looks like Poop Soup getting here trying to deal a little bit, you know, do as much as he can just to uh, push his enemies back and Fragnetic is on the back foot once again. Uh, sweet unusual there. Not sure who's unusual that is. Let me see if we can find him because uh, that was... Okay, so Tree is wearing a tree on his head. I guess that makes sense. So that of course means that Juzus is wearing that uh, circling TF2 Dr. Seuss hat unusual. Awesome, awesome stuff. Um, and this is, of course, Hat Fortress 2. I don't even know why I'm really commentating on the actual gameplay. I should just be watching the hats. Um, Miss Awesome has her hats back so we can see the circling ghosts around her head. Um, uh, apparently she was hacked a little while ago, but uh, I guess Steam managed to give her all that back, so good for them for making sure their players keep their hats. Of course, the hats are the most important part of any TF2 player's repertoire. Um, very, very good defense here so far from Fragnetic. They've kept their medic within the spawn. They've kept that uber at 100%. They have lost two players, though. Uh, they, they get that uber counter popped there, and it looks like Nerd Stars want to back out, but they're doing a lot of damage here so far, and with only uh, three players left up for Fragnetic, I don't think they can actually defend this. It'd be very clutch if they could. Miss Awesome here trying to do some needle damage, but that's just not going to be enough. They do manage to kill Tree and Poop Soup, but there were still four up left for... Uh the Nerd Stars, and so the Nerd Stars have gone 2-0 so far. I wonder, I think this is going to be uh, one of our more standard North American, like, halftime switch kind of things at three points. So Fragnetic got to uh, come back here. Of course, it's still showing the uh, overlays from the previous games I casted, but this is Nerd Stars against Fragnetic, and here comes the... Oh, Bio, don't walk out of the house. So one of the things that you do not want to do as a scout is go through that house. Um, most players will tell you, especially like Justin, who's a top-level scout, will just say, on your, on your way out of Badlands, never go through the house. You will almost always take sticky damage. It's just not a good thing to do. Um, good damage coming down here for Fragnetic, but once again, they are losing a lot of players in this mid-fight. I think they're probably going to end up losing the mid-fight. Uh, and Tool is at 150 health, doing some great dodging there. Uh, we haven't gotten the Miss Awesome cam yet, but she is, of course, running away from the fight. Look at this! Gundy and Blueberry both being super aggressive here. They managed to make the enemy medic pop, so Miss Awesome is going to have an uber advantage. This is really, they should just get out of here. It's exactly what they're doing. Gundy ends up dying, but uh, he did manage to make the enemy medic pop. Giving your team an uber advantage is, is pretty much, if you know you can do it, that's going to be worth one player sacrificing. And look at those beautiful pipes coming down there. Um, just as soon as they land on the ground, um, detonating for Tito. So he's he's got the pipes, man. This is some good demo man play here from Tito. I like seeing this. And so if they, if they are using this team to try this... Uh, if they're using this team to try out the demo man, I like it. Um, I, I, of course, my word is not final. It's their word. And, of course, how they work with the guy. That's how they want to see. Um, so I'm trying to read up through my stream chat here real quick just to see if I can find uh, the question I had earlier. I don't even remember what the question was, though. And we've got a lot of action going down, so uh, it's, it's probably going to be too late. Um, here we go. We've got uh, Tito is down right now, but a, a kind of aggressive play here considering it's only three players. It's just a soldier's MO medic coming in from Nerd Stars, but they know they've got the advantage here, and they're dealing a lot of damage to Miss Awesome. Nonetheless, they do pop the Uber, <coughs> and Miss Awesome may get away here. That's what she wants to do. <coughs> oh my gosh, I've been casting for so long tonight. My voice actually has not died yet, so I'm kind of proud of that. Um, there are, of course, more games I could do, but I've kind of promised to do some lobbies, so I'll get some more out there tomorrow. Um, and look at this Fragnetic with a good back half there by a soldier, but Gundy does go down before he can cap the point. Very, very close, but of course, that's actually going to drop uh, the Nerd Stars all the way back to try and defend here. They do not want to get just this exactly what's happening, the Demoman jumping in. Demoman not very good against a scout in most of these situations, but does manage to get the air pipe. Bio had that... Go oh, he was lucky there. Had that uh, second jump, so he managed to stay alive a little bit longer. He is down now, and it looks like Nerd Stars are have a significant uber disadvantage um not good tito's like oh you flew so far man and that's exactly what we were watching so i'm glad we got that on camera um 
Fragnetic can push in with an uber advantage at any time. No, this awesome gets taken out by a sticky trap. Oh my gosh, so that means uh, Nerd Stars here have a, a decent defensive advantage, but they don't have an uber yet. Um, they're taking a lot of damage on this point here right now. They've got a pyro. The uh, medic goes down, so well done to Mike. And Mike here probably just wants to back out. No, he is going to end up dying instead. Miss Awesome here needs to start building that uber quickly. Needs to find a member of her team to build because the longer she waits, there she goes. The longer she waits, the less advantage they're going to have pushing into last. They want to have that uber advantage. Uh, now, Tool is still taking about 10 seconds to come up, so he is going to have about a 10 second disadvantage. That's going to translate to about 25%, 30% maybe. Um, it's actually over 10 seconds, so that's that's going to be pretty good for Fragnetic. They should be able to push in as soon as they have the Uber and just uh, just stomp all over the enemy team here without them being able to respond. That's what they want to do. They're in a good position right now. They just have to make sure they don't die. So Miss Awesome, we're watching. She stays back here as far as possible um, just to make sure that she does not take a lot of damage. Uh, they can push in here when they have that full Uber. They've got that 30% advantage, so they should be able to push in and seal the deal here, bring it up to 1-2. to two. Just going to have to see how Red defends, because, of course, anything can happen here on this defense. It's a crazy hard point to capture on Badlands, and so you have to make sure that you do a very, very good job of getting that cap. Now, though, Fragnetic in a good position here. They're pushing in. Uh, they do manage to get the Uber. There is a Pyro, though, dealing a lot of... Uh, a lot of chaos. They do manage to take out Bio on the Pyro, and now there's a Soldier up here trying to deal a lot of damage as well. Lots and lots, and lots of action going on. Fragnetic's taken out three of their players so far. Four now. Um, we've got Gundy here knocking out everybody else, and so that is it. That's a wipe for Red. A good attempt at defense. Um, they did manage to get the Uber blasted away, but they just couldn't stop everything at once. And so Fragnetic brings it up one to two against the uh, Nerd Stars. Of course, uh, I would like to consider myself a nerd star, but I know that is not the case. Um, these guys are the real stars here. So much better at TF2 than I am. And so, uh, of course, that is what we mean when we say nerd stars. These guys are the true nerd stars. Uh, going 2-1 to one so far against Fragnetic, but Fragnetic trying to bring it back here. Um, of course, their team used to be called Water Vapor. They have... Oh, wow! Look at that one... Uh, one pipe ended up taking out Poop Soup and Juzus at the same time. Only one guy left. It is Bio, and he's just taking a sticky to the feet. Um, surprised he could even run after that, because, of course, uh, if a sticky bomb hit my feet, I'm pretty sure they would be exploded, and uh, I would not be able to run around at full speed. Nonetheless, this is Team Fortress 2. Cartoon violence is not real violence, so, uh, you know, that's how it goes. We do have somebody else having joined the game right now, but I'm pretty sure he's not actually going to join a team. That would be crazy. Um, don't do that, man. Don't make it 7v6. That's lame. So, once again, an uber advantage situation. Fragnetic pushing into last. Um, and this time, they're going to be watching for those sticky traps that, uh, that caught them so off guard last time around. They still managed to recover and cap the last point. So I think we're going to see Fragnetic once again pushing in here, managing to take last. They do have the advantage. The longer they wait, the, the, the longer Tool has to build up Zuber. But oh no, Tool goes down to Tito. They just were not calling out that spam. And that's what happens uh, if, you, if you don't call out, oh look, the enemy's down there, hit him, hit him, hit him. Um, they just get the chance to run in and deal some free damage. That's what Tito did. So the Uber popped on the scout. And Garfield, with the little kitty face, managing to cap that point. No problem walking in with the Uber. So that's exactly what he wanted to do. Looks like we don't want to watch. We don't want to watch an equalizer rollout. Let's watch a demo man rolls. That's what we got to see. Tito got some good rollout skills. Kind of hit that uh, wall there, but that happens a lot. You know, just can't avoid it sometimes. That one though, kind of screwed it up. Um, and one thing I found, I've actually gotten a lot more consistent on that particular jump. The way to do it is just to wait a little bit longer than you're usually comfortable waiting, um, and then and then detonate it after you've jumped. Anyway, uh, we do have the mid fight going down. Bio's down, Garfield's down, so each team missing a scout right now, and they've just kind of set up on their respective crates. A little bit of scout battle going on down at the left hand side, but uh, so far it's it's a very clean fight. You know, no, neither team really getting around behind the other. It's just they've set up their front lines, and red team is kind of in a spam hard position. Um, does manage to jump up and bomb. Uh, uh, looks like bombed blueberry villain. So blue. Blueberry's down, but Miss Awesome has preserved the Uber. Tool, on the other hand, has his 100% and has popped it now just to make sure he didn't die to the enemy. Miss Awesome, oh, goes down! So it's 2-2 two to two right now, but it's looking like Fragnetic may end up losing this round. They did at least manage to make Tool pop, so the Nerd Stars don't have the Uber advantage yet. Um... They're going to have about a 30, maybe 40% advantage here. Not even that, because Miss Awesome is going to um, spawn right away. <clears throat> and everybody right now is actually spawned for the red team, so they don't have that uber... Uh, they don't have the... Uh positioning advantage. They don't have that forward spawn that, that would have been nice, but uh, it doesn't really matter too much because Fragnetic has dropped back to uh, defend. It looks like they're defending the interior right now. No, they are defending the Spire. They've got a couple of uh, sticky traps set up around the various areas, and we've got a scout hanging out on the Spire as well, uh, just trying to avoid some damage and force the enemy to... Uh, 
to jump up and deal with them, because right now the enemy is, of course, staying back. Nerdstar is doing a very good job of, of playing conservatively here, trying to deal damage, but they've lost Bio so far, and uh, Tool is down to 12 health, 15 health now, taking way too much damage here. Not sure what happened, whether uh, he just kind of peek out there and just got hit or what, but uh, Tool is taking a lot of damage here. Poop Soup is now down as well. So, uh, I didn't know you could actually kill Poop Soup. It doesn't sound like something that was living, but apparently they did. They just said, no, let's get let's get this stuff out of here. Both uh, both scouts for a little bit were down there for the Nerd Stars. A decent sticky trap there, but of course it was detonated just a little bit early. And uh, good pills coming in now. Trying to deal as much damage as possible to the invading blue team. But I think blue's going to be able to capture mid. Oh, Medic drops down, though, off the side here. I'm not sure that's what she wanted to do. Um, and it looks like blue team going to have to drop back against this counter uber from red. Red. Um, good kill on Bio, but Tito's down now. Garfield down as well. Mike coming around from behind, though. We're going to have to see if he can't get some good kills here. It looks like he did a lot of good damage on the Demo Man. Um, oh, watch the Mike cam. Of course, Mike got the kill on Tree. He's going to go in for the Medic now. The Demo Man can't really protect his Medic that well against uh, this. Now, Mike actually may end up getting taken down here by Poop Soup the Scout, but no, not, not meant to be quite yet. Mike chasing, chasing, getting the kill on Poop Soup, and gets the kill on Tool as well. Mike, you owe me $13. Um, because I have featured one of your kill streaks on the camera, so please, 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 um, 13 bucks. PayPal, I will accept checks or cash. You can mail cash as well. <laughs> Sorry, I've just got a little uh, running gag with Mike that whenever I feature the Mike cam, we will, we will give me some money, but of course that's not true. Now we've got uh, Miss Awesome with 100% uber advantage here, and what I thought was going to be a 3-2 to two for the Nerd Stars, it's been turned around Fragnetic now, um, pushing into last with an uber advantage, so it looks like it's actually going to be 3-2 to two for Fragnetic. Uh, very, very close and very back and forth game so far. Just this little scrim on uh, on Badlands. Oh, here comes the Uber. Good Uber pop there to prevent them from taking any damage from the Demo Man stickies there. It looks like they've taken down the Demo Man now so they can just walk onto the point and not really worry too much about taking a lot of damage from sticky traps, crap like that. It's exactly what they do. Um, and really, there wasn't a lot that, uh, that Nerd Stars could do about that. I mean, when you've got an Ubered enemy pushing in, there's you know you can like stay in spawn, but then if you do that, they're just going to walk on the point and cap it. So you kind of have to go out and contest, but they're invincible, so like, what do you do? <coughs> It's very, very tough playing in that sort of situation, and you're usually going to lose it. Um, so here we go. We've got Miss Awesome walking around. Uh, actually, nice, decent little jump there. It doesn't really matter too much, but just kind of fun to do. Um, and so both teams getting there about the same time, setting up their front lines once again. And this time the scouts for Fragnetic being super ultra-aggressive here, walking around the valley, and looks like... Look at all this aggression coming in from Fragnetic here. This time they they really want this mid-fight. Tree is down, and Tree is running Medic right now. Was Tree Medic the whole time? No, I think Tool was Medic for a little while. Now he's changed off to Soldier. So Tree, the Medic, is now down... Uh, for the Nerd Stars, and that means, once again, 100% advantage going to Miss Awesome. So this could end up very easily being 4-2 <coughs> for Fragnetic Gaming. Oh, my gosh. Um, and here we go. we got Gundy capping. Jesus trying to build that Uber as much as he can, but I don't think that they're going to have it in time. Miss Awesome's going to walk in here, and they're going to try to cap as quickly as possible. Um, not a lot of off-classing going on so far. Poop Soup and Bio both staying on the scout on defense. Not always a good decision. Sometimes we want to get a heavy out there, a pyro or something, and they've done that before. Um, but right now, they're just running the two scouts. Uber comes in. Um, they Uber a little bit early, but they just want to make sure that they don't take any damage. Now, Blueberry Villain trying to get a little bit of capture time. Going to take a lot of damage here, though. Oh, he goes down. Doesn't manage to get the, enough heals. Mike is trying to get a kill, though. Does get the kill once again on Tree. So Tree is down, and now at this point, uh, they just need to just, you know, yeah, walk. Take one little step on that point, and it got captured. So there you go. It is not EV versus any. It is Fragnetic versus um, the Nerd Stars. And Nerd Stars is down right now, 4-2. to two. So <clears throat> we've seen Tree swap off to the Medic. And here we go. We're going to have to see if T Tito can redeem himself. He can. Manages to get that jump just fine and make me look like a total tool for even saying that he could ever mess it up. And here we go. Uh, once again, the front line's being set up. Both teams choosing to take the left-hand route, so that means, of course, they kind of take the symmetrical route. This time, uh, Fragnetic uh, taking a lot of damage right off the bat, but then Juzus is actually down, and here goes a really, really aggressive play, trying to kill Tree. Does manage to get him! There you go. Tree's down to Blueberry Villain. So uh, Bio, though, manages to kill Tito. So now it's Bio trying to get some flanking work going on, but does get stopped immediately by Mike, who is just doing a really good job on protection. But I think Bio should be just fine... Uh, He's going to hang back there. So the cap on midpoint has happened, and we are now waiting to see uh, whether Nerd Stars make a contest for the second, because once again, they are down in the Uber. 
So we're going to have to see whether Fragnetic can hold on to this Uber while they cap or whether they actually are forced to pop it right now. And considering they're only pushing in with just the Pocket Soldier and the Medic, they may end up having to pop now. They haven't capped Spire yet, and it sounds like there's a lot of a battling going on. There's actually a taunt going on right now at Spire. Oh, could have killed that Medic there, but uh, instead choosing to kill a lot of the players here. They are going to cap Spire. They still have the Uber advantage, uh, rushing in with the Uber, and now there's only three left um, um, alive for the uh, red team here, that's the Nerd Stars, and so they're going to have their work cut out for them on defense. I think they should be able to get it, but here comes a very, very aggressive soldier. Um, Tree probably going to end up going down very, very close there. Did try to stay alive as long as possible, but lots of fighting going on over the point, and the, the uh, blue demo just a little bit out of position here to take advantage of that. Now it looks like he's getting upstairs. No, that's actually the red demo man, Buddha. Uh, Buddha killed... Oh, Buddha with a huge pipe there to the face on Garfield, too. Oh, and it's demo man versus demo man here. Um, looks like Tito is still up, but he may not be much longer for this world. They, can, uh, yeah, they're going to have to drop back. So Fragnetic looks like that uh, that attack did fail. It was just it came in a little bit too piecemeal, too one at a time. And you can't expect everything to be perfectly coordinated during a scrim where half the team rosters seem to be uh, seem to be ringers, but. Unless it's it's going to be a fun game to watch, and so it is four to two right now for Fragnetic. Fragnetic uh, does have about even Ubers here, and may get a kill. Actually, getting that kill on Tool. Oh no, Miss Awesome is down. So we're gonna have to see whether they push in here or just back off. Oh no, with with Tito down now as well, I think that Fragnetic should be backing off. They may actually get surrounded and trapped in here. That's that might be what's happening right now. Uh, two down, four red. But Mike is uh, the master of the back cap, and if he is running back to try and protect the medic, that means there's probably not going to be a back cap going on anytime soon. So Fragnetic has wisely dropped back to Spire to defend that. Tree has a 75% Uber now, so we're going to have to see the uh, tree cam and see when he decides to pop that, because of course the Nerd Stars want to come back and win this game. I have cast a lot of Fragnetic games. They are my bros. They always are willing to send me as many STV demos as I request, and so um, I tend to cast them winning a lot, but we're going to have to see whether... I mean, they have sent me some losses, too, just some very, very close, exciting games. So uh, we'll see whether this is a win or a loss. They didn't tell me. It's just a scrim, and it looks like they want to get that medic kill. Uh, having to reload, though, is never a good thing. Um, of course, you should reload. I'm not saying you shouldn't. I'm just saying that in the middle of... Oh, no! And the master of the back cap, as I said, Mike runs around and caps it. So that was a GG 5-2. to two. Good, well-played to Fragnetic Gaming against Nerd Stars. And I hope to see both of these teams continue their ESEA Open domination in the future and just get better and better. So this has been Salamancer, and I am signing the hell out.